Welcome to this week's edition of The Lowdown. We're still exhausted after watching that Arsenal game against Manchester United. Five questions, 30 seconds each. Tim has the first one. I don't know what they are. Go for it. As I look at the table, I see Tottenham Hotspur sitting in second place. Are you a believer in what's going on there under Ange Postacoglu? Tim, I'm a believer. All right. Ange I am a believer in Ange Ball. I'm a believer in Ange. And I'm a believer that eventually Daniel Levy has done something right in choosing this particular manager. What he has brought, not just on the field, because they don't play with a handbrake on at all, ever. He has slotted James Madison in like he's been playing there for years, as we talked about last week. But off the field, this guy <laughs> has given us all a complete breath of fresh air. He is so chilled out and funny in his press conferences. I can't imagine what it must be like to play for him. I'm a believer in Ange Ball. I fancy Tottenham to have a really good season. Just disappointed with him making nine changes in the League Cup. Mm. Should have stayed in the League Cup. OK, let's go down to the other end of the table. There are five winless teams in the Premier League. So Bournemouth, Sheffield United, Everton, Luton and Burnley. Yeah. Of those five, mm. who worries you? Luke, I mean, Luton worried me before a ball was kicked. Sheffield United worried me before a ball was kicked, although I do like Cameron Archer. I feel yeah, like he played really well against yeah. Everton. Um, Everton worry me and have done for years. I mean, they're all worrying me, to be honest. Out of who does it most? Um, I mean, Bournemouth. Well, I, I thought Ira Ola yeah, was supposed to be this yeah. great hope. We've seen very little from... From him, they could be the sneaky sort of drop like a stone team this season that joins, in my opinion, Luton and Sheffield United. Um, so all five worry me really? a lot. Really no points after their great championship. Burnley worry me a lot. I mean, the, yeah, you're worried. You're worried. I'm, I'm massively worried. worried generally. <laughs> Next. Right, I want to talk to you about Newcastle United. They have one win. They face a really tough Champions League yeah. group. PSG, Dortmund, AC Milan. Yeah. How concerned are you for Eddie Howe's team? I'm massively worried. It's the theme <laughs> of the day. Um, I, I, I am concerned because we saw them a lot in pre-season. We were there for the summer series. Mm. They look good. We saw them last year. They look really good. They so deserve that Champions League place. But I, I don't know whether, and we talked about this off camera, didn't we, Rob? Yesterday I said to you, all that praise that they've given Eddie Howe for not splashing the cash, too much, too much, mm. on massive names... I wonder now, a bit knee-jerky, but I wonder now whether they should have splashed the cash. <laughs> I wonder whether they've got the cash. Mm. Do maybe what Chelsea have done. Find ways around the FFP so you can splash some of it to take you to the next level. Because at the moment, they're standing still. Well, actually, they've regressed. And that's a concern. Mm. Let's go to the Emirates today. Huge game. Oh. Arsenal hosting Man United. Dramatic finish. 3-1 yeah. winners to, to, to Arsenal. Of these two giant teams of English football... Mm. Which one's going to win a Premier League title next? Arsenal. Wow. Arsenal. Yeah. Wow. I, I mean, somebody tell me, please, what Eric Ten Hag has done. I, I haven't seen a huge amount... Well, nice combinations of sweaters and T-shirts. Matching cardigan and, and T-shirt <laughs> yeah. is a winner. It okay. is a winner of a look. Other than his fashion. For me, they haven't progressed really that much. Yeah, they won a... What did they win? The League Cup last League year? Cup and, yeah, come for. Really? I mean, they, and they finished third. Third, sorry, yeah. No, that's not winning a huge amount. That's not massive amounts of progression. Well, success they've spent for him this fortune. Year, he success, got he's got to win the FA Cup this year, mm. um, and they've got to get far in Europe, and he's got to finish in the top three again to get to have success. I mean, I, I, they should be challenging for the title with what they've won. Sorry, massively over time. Final. Let's possibly move away from football. The people have spoken. Okay. They're demanding to know what does Rebecca Lowe yeah. do yeah. during an international break. Oh. She loves an international break, <laughs> not going to lie. Um, well, I do, f I, I do love it, but I also find it weird, don't you, on a Saturday and a Sunday when you can go for, like, a coffee Jesus. and you're shouldn't I be doing something? I feel like I should be doing something. And then you're like, my goodness, this is what happens outside in the real <laughs> world on a Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. It's incredible. Um, there's a lot of relaxation, not going to lie. There's a lot of sleeping. Um, there's not as much of watching international football as maybe... Mm -hmm. I should, because <laughs> I'm sort of like, let me take a break from football. Um, lots of family time as well. So I'm excited for that. Although I do miss the Premier League, I'm always excited when it comes back in a couple of weeks. Chaps, thank you very much. Don't forget, on the NBC Sports YouTube travel, tra travel? channel, we have all of our original shows. Premier League Update, the Two Robbies podcast, this show, The Lowdown, the Tactics Session as well. Make sure you subscribe to the NBC Sports YouTube channel. That was this week's edition of The Lowdown. Thanks for watching. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. 
and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.